Welcome to Harmontown. I am Brandon Johnson sitting in for Jeff Davids. We love you, Jeff Davids. Make some noise for Jeff. God knows where he is. Let's get right to it. There's so much show. You know him. You love him. Game master extraordinaire, Spencer Crittenden. Dungeon master of disaster. You know how we get down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon! Uh, yeah! 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 Been drinking since 10 a.m. Been drinking Damn. since 10 a.m. It just trails out. <laughs> I remember the time. <laughs> no, I don't. Damn. <laughs> uh, Brandon Johnson, everybody. All right. Look, Luckiest it's a little man. late in the podcast to like stir up beef, but honestly, my favorite comptroller. What? Oh, no! Shit. No! 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 Oh, no! shit. No. You're booing the idea of no. pettiness. You're not booing him and you're not booing Jeff. You're booing the idea of me pitting them against each other. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, I'm like the Joker. I'm like splitting the pool cue in half. I'm like... I have but. never said this before, but would somebody please help me? <laughs> please! <laughs> help get me off this day. Someone... Someone, <laughs> my family, call my family. Uh, I have been drinking all day. Um, congratulations. Why? Why, Dan Harmon? Veterans Day. Whoa, that's patriotism. I truly, did you guys see my Instagram post about Veterans Day? I fucking knocked it out of the park. You're welcome. You're welcome, men did, and women what and did gender fluid soldiers. Just, I just fucking nailed it. I signaled so much virtue. You couldn't fucking, like, it was beyond reproach. I was like, dude, no matter what you are, whatever, veterans, but boobity boobity. I fucking, I just like, man, the world's gonna suck my dick when I click submit. I did it. Boom, dude. I got ghosts of Marines coming at me. Like, simper fine. <laughs> Like, I fucking did it. I fucking signaled that virtue. And then undid it. I was... <laughs> I'm on a fucking war path. I, like, hate myself today. I honestly can't tell you guys why I'm so fucking upset, but my hope is that I can just be honest with you guys that I'm so fucking, like... I've been... I, 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 that there are, out, there are outside circumstances that have me in a real fucking uh, tailspin. And the and the the thing that I want to be honest about is because I've been taking note of it is how fucking rude and mean I am only exclusively only to the people that are closest to me, the people that I can trust. That 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 stupid expression, you only hurt the ones you love. Like I have been so fucking mean to Cody the last couple of weeks because I am going through something with people that deserve so much fucking abuse and who are getting nothing. If you want to be treated well by me, uh, here's an insider tip. Be a bag of dicks to me. <laughs> Proclaim yourself as my enemy. You will be a fucking red carpet ambassador. Like, like you'll never hear a fucking peep from me because I'll be so busy strategizing and all this thing. But if you want to like get a fucking verbally abused by me, love me. Just love me. Just be into me. Be on my side. Be in my corner. That's where the that, that's where you'll get fucking knocked out. It's it really is fucking. Who like, let you know? 
is the, the, the thing that a good friend, Jerry Miner, said when I said I lost my mind one night. He said, who was crying or who was angry? And I said, neither. And he goes, then you didn't lose your mind. So who told you that you had fucked up? Did you discover it yourself? M- me. Okay, good. Well, I mean, but it's like... At I least mean, you didn't get it secondhand. That would have sucked. <laughs> well, as secondhand, does Cody count as secondhand? Like, if I'm, like, being mean to her, and then she's like, why are you being mean to me? Is that... That's her, the source? Like, I'm like... I think that counts, yeah. Because I, I don't want to make it, I don't want to sugarcoat and be like, oh, yeah, and then I realized what a bag of fucking shit I am. No, it's like. I, but you I, did eventually. Yeah, but like, yeah, I'm just yeah. a terrible person. Uh, no, you I, know, I, terrible I, I, people, I, I, terrible people don't question it. That's, right. that's the difference. Fuck you, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Damn. will somebody help me? <laughs> no. I will tell you, when I was a kid, my mother would say to me, um, I don't know why you, you talk shit to me, but you don't talk shit to that dude who stole your book back, you little bitch. <laughs> that, I mean, that and is it does in shake a fucking you back. nutshell. I love that your mom said that. <laughs> <laughs> she had a lot of gems. <laughs> Wait, so your mom had the presence of mind to know you were taking aggression out on her that was based on someone stealing your book back? She felt like it really didn't matter what the reason was. But she it knew was you took her your fucking book house. <laughs> I don't know why you're upset with me, but I can tell you this. Uh, I saw your bitch ass run home today. <laughs> so whatever's going on, you don't need to talk to me like that because I'm sure you can't back it up. I used to wipe your ass, bitch. Did you Allow for that to happen in your relationship. <laughs> did your mom ever give you this one where you like, did you ever come home like sniffling and crying because you got bullied? And did your mom go like, well, if they're that mean, then they you don't want them as your friend. And I'm like, oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> it was just like it was like the like, like it's so true. It's so perfectly right, but it's yeah. not the message you're willing to receive at that time. No, she was, was just like she was oh, they, they're so mean to me. Well, then they're not good people, and you don't want to hang out with them. <laughs> yeah, well, that doesn't mean being in their treehouse wouldn't be rad, right? Right. That doesn't it's called raise fucking myself. society, yeah. bitch. Yeah, your advice doesn't raise my self-esteem, mom. <laughs> it's Shrub's next t-shirt. <laughs> Where the fuck is Shrub? Oh. You lost him on the way here. His big his biggest dream. Oh, the episode where Shrub's gone. Everyone misses <laughs> Shrub. I miss him too. I Who's going to find the good chair and move it into place? Uh, I, I, I sat down. There, there's, no, there's no guest per se. Um, I think I heard a possible uh, guest uh, respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I sat down here because they t- there's a camera situation where the worst, I don't know, like me standing up there is not good for camera purposes. The whereas, camera's stuck. Whereas this is amazing. <laughs> me sitting here is amazing. Well, just look at the composition. But let's 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 bring on our friend Nick Rutherford. Nick. Yes. Nick Rutherford, ladies and gentlemen, you know him from such shows as the Nick Rutherford show, written and produced by Nick Rutherford. Brad, starring okay, Nick right, fuck Rutherford. Nick, fuck him. <laughs> what? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, his entrance tonight is brought to you by Lime, Lime Scooters. You're going to be- you're going to bust your mouth open, Lime Scooters. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, subtle. <laughs> that was good. I saw that. I saw the headlight on that thing coming down the thing, and I was like, "We're all gonna die." <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the folks at home, Nick rode a scooter up on stage, and then had to turn it off so he didn't keep getting billed for the show. Yeah, he locked it. Be very expensive. Uh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew you've you're you're facile enough with these things that you knew it would make a punchline sound when you <laughs> deactivated it. I love limes, man. They're the best. People who rail against limes are are awful. Yeah, man. That's th- what I'm saying. I think they're a little too curmudgeon-y. Like, yeah. The people or the limes? The people. I think limes are too curmudgeon. Also, it's only people who live in Santa Monica and fuck that place, right? Yeah. I just the 
Anything like any critique people have of these scooters is the same about bikes, but no one said them about bikes because bikes are old and adults use them. Okay, yeah, boomer. Uh, okay, boomer. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, oh my shit. god! Like, okay, okay this boomer. Freeze, like, oh, I shit. can do it too, boomer. Oh shit! I also know how to use the phrase of the day, boomer. Okay, <laughs> I the, saw the, this phrase has exploded <laughs> like a fucking wad of <laughs> shitty cum everywhere. Uh, okay, boomer. Oh, he okay, fucking boomer, got like, your ass. Yeah. He nailed your ass to the fucking wall. Um, I saw. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What is that? I celebrate dance. Oh, okay. I celebrate when I say it, boomer. <laughs> you know, demographically, Brandon, you're my age. I'm sorry to out you, but uh, <laughs> like we're Generation X, you and That's I. That's right. Yeah, we're the little uh, one. Like, did you know demographically what that means? Is that we have no voice. We don't, but all the shit's made for us right now. What? No, you're thinking <laughs> it's, it's 1995. No, no, it's true. Oh. It's, true. it's all made for us. What do you mean? We're no. in that sweet spot where it's what? like people market to you mean us. Like all the, the music and shit. No, is like the morning show. No, Mandalorian. <laughs> Disney Plus is made for you guys. That's true. What is made for us? There's nothing yeah. made for us. I don't. There's like uh, what's like uh, like probiotics. Okay, all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Activity. My is point huge. was gonna be, I mean, I like I would love to think what you're saying is true, but my point is that like demographically, when you examine it, the baby boomers. Okay, boomer. <laughs> those are my parents, Brandon's parents. Okay, that was a generation. They're called baby boomers. Let me walk you through this because it's Veterans Day. Um, <laughs> my grandpappies came back from Guadalcanal and did so much fucking. Um, that they created the Beatles with their dicks. <laughs> like, they're just like, holy fuck, I, I'm so fucking horny, I've just been like bayonetting the enemy forever, I can't wait to fuck! And so there was this baby boom, and um, that's our fucking obnoxious Trump generation, is the fucking, these boomers, they're like, hey, I want a trivial pursuit thing. By the way, Nick, how are you? I'm great, man. Okay. I've been lying. I, sorry, I, I, I'm a bad interviewer, a bad host. You said you don't have a guest, per se. I yeah. Know, I, 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 well, I didn't want to... <laughs> per se. <laughs> so, like, sorry. did you forget, or... It's you the don't biggest consider compliment me a I can guest? pay you. I'm like, you're my, you're my friend. That's the, don't tell him that. I know. I don't, I don't have any friends. <laughs> Damn. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I, don't, don't let me fucking do that to you. I'm, I'm your friend, Dan. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> the baby boomers had a couple of kids, like three of them total. Me, Kurt Cobain, and Brandon. <laughs> Paul F. Tompkins, David Cross, Janine Garofalo. Okay, yeah, that's us. We didn't have any kids because we're fucking awesome. We were like... Trying to save that planet. Yeah. Trying, trying to, to save impact, that planet. Trying to impact that waste. And we were like, Disney? Oh, uh, think so. <laughs> Coca-Cola? Uh-uh. Anything corporate? No. uh You think you, you're into the Bernie or whatever? Like, fuck you. We were like socialist before we knew it was called socialism. We were like, fucking, fuck you, dude. Hands in the pockets, Alanis Morissette. Fuck it. <laughs> Give me a fucking peace sign, and I'm playing the piano over here. I they got... don't know about Nader. Oh, I, th <laughs> I thought you said I thought you said something else. Oh no! I was like it's a hard R on the Nader, man. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't Nader. know about no Nader. I, 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 did I vote? No, I, <laughs> my my first vote was uh, 1992. I was 18 years old. Voted for a guy named Ross Perot. My parents yeah. voted for Ross Perot. Felicia, Felicia Day in her book talks about that was her uh, her first vote. Um, it was like it was yeah. Anyways, but uh, uh, like here's the thing: Generation X sandwich, real little sliver. If you were to represent demographically, population wise, we're just outnumbered. Our yeah. parents, like, there's a, we have a thousand parents and a thousand cousins that are younger than us. Like, I, I don't know how that worked. But is, even though we didn't have kids, we now, it's like if you're Generation X, you're just a fucking like piece of shit sandwiched between fuck everybody, man. Yeah. But we were nailing it. By doing what? And nothing. Yeah. That's what fuck I'm that. What are you talking about? We gave them we, we, hip hop. Hip hop. We, 
hip hop. We, we had hip hop. Yeah, we did hip hop. You guys came up with hip hop. <laughs> Brandon and Dan, you came up with hip hop. Cable. 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 <laughs> Cable. You motherfuckers was getting free TV. Our generation came and said, "Pay for these reruns." <laughs> <laughs> Cable. We were, Generation X. We, you, yeah. There were three channels when we were born, and then when we were twenty, we were like, there should be three hundred. Yeah, we did that. We did that. We 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 added value to everything. Yeah. We were like, you you using one home phone? Fuck that. Get a cell phone. More billing. Yep. And what'd you all do? Y'all came in with the fucking YouTubes, and you fucked it up. Y'all like, like, subscribe. Fuck y'all. <laughs> uh, let's give them one taste of uh, the hip hop we invented. Can I have a beat? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Puffy Jackets. Yeah. My name is Puffy Jacket. I can't hack it. Uh-uh. When it's warm outside, yeah. I like to let it ride. My name is Puffy Jacket. Sleeves infinite. Feel it down to the wrist. Fucked your mama so hard I made her fucking list. Fingertips going inside her pussy. Down to the car. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. I heard you made a list. <laughs> this weekend you made a mom's list. Is that true? Yeah. Oh yeah, you fucked yeah. it so hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit it with that uh dick and balls kung fu? Yes. <laughs> yeah, a little more hype than I'm worth. Yeah. It's all hype right now. It's the hype man. It's, okay. it's, it's, I, it's, it's, I, I just, I don't deserve that much hype. No, you sure you don't deserve this much hype? Well, you're starting to talk me into it. <laughs> Come get some of this hype. Enjoy all, right. all of this hype. I want to be a hype. better rapper for you. <laughs> you make me want to be a better rapper. That's what a hype man do. That's what a hype man do. <laughs> I want to take you to the break of dawn. I want to make love to you all day long. I'm just a hype man, bro. <laughs> I know you've been drinking since 10, but let me get it in. You see, a hype man is the dude that has your back. Now the dude who you run up to and then lick his booty crack. <laughs> Are you sure we can't expand on this I'm, a little bit? I'm pretty sure that that's not the relationship, but... When you say pretty sure... How sure am I? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that relationship is worth unpacking. We got a real crack crew. Like, look, the lighting effects happen. Fuck the, the fucking man. beat was sweet. <laughs> There's a lot of, you know, by the way, Nick, thanks for coming. Uh, yeah. Tonight's guest is Nick Rutherford. Uh, he was in uh, The Waitest Kids You Know. What was it? Uh, <laughs> uh, good Neighbor, right. which, yeah, was, oh, uh, wasn't as know. successful. A- anything as the after kids. Uh, kids in the Hall, I don't even know it. All right. Well, you could just do a quick Google before you bring your not quite real guest on stage. <laughs> no, that's something we do for guests. <laughs> <laughs> friends, you're a friend. friend. We abuse you. Yeah, I know. I know That's I know, what the per se means. Right. Dan doesn't Google. Uh, um, Dream Corp LLC. Yeah, Dream Corp LLC. I saw some bus bench ads for that. Pretty good. Yeah, Adult Swim uh, really uh, tried to promote Dream Corp LLC by having really cool ads that didn't say what Dream Corp LLC was. Right? It was like, that's great. I've been having sleeping problems lately. <laughs> Maybe I should go to these guys. Yeah. It's like, no, it's a TV show. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, they did really subversive, like, it was like a, a picture of uh, John Grise, who plays Dr. Roberts, and it said, like, 
oh, uh, we will analyze your dreams. And it's a fun anal pun. That's fun. Yeah. But then everybody was like, look at that dumb billboard. They didn't, they spaced their text wrong. And then nobody watched the show. No. <laughs> I, uh, when I was doing community, uh, which I never bring up, um, <laughs> there was, uh, I wanted to, do, I was like so excited about the website. I was like, I want to do the Greendale College, Greendale? Gre- yeah. yeah, Greendale. <laughs> I'm like, so, I'm like, was it Glendale or Greendale? No, Greendale. Um, I want to do like the Gr- Greendale College's like uh, website, and I want it to be like it's got to be legit. It's got to be like D- the Dunder Mifflin like uh, website, but like beyond that, like you get it's got to be this fully immersive thing. We got to have hundreds and hundreds of like student registries and you got the thing. And then it was like M- NBC Digital was like, yeah, but we did research and um, we did that Dunder Mifflin page and like. Uh, uh, People were upset because they. Um, w- w- what we found in our testing is that they are. They wanted to know whether it was a real website or not. And so what we found is if we put like a Toyota ad, people it made people more comfortable. Whoa. Anyways, just I mean it sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not. I'm just <laughs> laughing. <laughs> We did the, yeah, I'm sorry. I've been drinking since 10 a.m. Wait, so you never got a a community college? No, we never really, it was like, well, there was like a, there was a website, but it was like sony.com slash community slash NBC dot hashtag slash this is a TV show slash we we promise this isn't really happening slash dot org slash TV dot biz Slash, slash Toyota. Like, like oh, <laughs> uh, just for funsies, let's pretend this is a community college dot, just for fun dot, just kidding, <laughs> dot com. And it was like, it was nothing. It was like, like yeah. let's go through the motions and hated it. And then we would do like Twitter. I was like, let's do a Twitter episode where we have the characters talking to each other. And they're like, that's great. Just make sure that every character, after everything they tweet, they hashtag NBC underscore community. Watch it at eight. <laughs> so why would why would Annie Edison be saying that? Anyways, those guys all got mad at me one time on Twitter or something. They were all like adding me. The cast of Community. Yeah. The characters from Community. Yeah, the like Abed's at Abed's tweets or whatever. That would probably be me. It was. It was someone. It was just someone who Before was like, we oh, met, this could be fun. I was yelling at you no, as this was Abed after. on Twitter? It was after. It was, way, it was way later than those accounts were, like, active. Like, they went rogue or something. Like, the people were, like, RPing them, and they just, like, you know, lost reality or something. For a while, those were all me. They had to be, because you, couldn't, you couldn't make writers do that stuff. Who's doing it now, then? Uh, the guy just, who hates you. Yeah. I be, say, we did the uh, Vulture Vulture Fest. Yeah. Uh, we did the community reunion panel. Was anyone at that? Uh, yeah. What? It was, it was basically everyone pretty <laughs> much uh, at the risk of offending anyone that I'm forgetting. No, it was basically everyone minus Donald and Chevy on the panel. And, um, and then we went to this dinner in the basement of this steak place that uh, Joel loves. And in the middle of the dinner, fucking Donald Glover walks in. It was so fantastic to see him with his fucking crazy beard and his like 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 uh, God damn it I'm jealous of that guy. Did he know about the dinner or does he work at that steak place? I think he was like (laughs) 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 he's trying to make ends meet. (laughs) He I think he was literally coming got off I think he was trying to make the panel and only made it like just to the dinner. Um, But it was just it was just good to talk to him again. Did he were you guys having a dinner and he just happened to be in the same place at the same time or did he know you guys were going to be there? No, he know I mean, that's what he I'm knew. saying. Like I think he was I think he was literally coming from Atlanta. Okay. Figuratively and literally. Like like, like uh, or literarily and literally. Um uh and and he just the flight didn't work out. Okay. But he just made it to the dinner. Did Chevy show up at all at the God, dinner? Went, no, yeah. No, he didn't make it. Mm. Well, you should give his phone number out. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I think they would like his phone number, right? I bet they'd love it, yeah. (laughs) You should get hired, like, after people go through rehab, you should be, like, the tester. (laughs) We should get one more drink, right? We should just do one one more line, right? In, 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 In formal poll, does anyone answer their phone anymore? 
Someone said Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Who's, who said yes? A liar. Me, Fred answer phone. <laughs> Someone said yes, right? Yeah, Boomer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like, I, like who, why would you ever sanctum. answer your phone anymore? I don't think we even need the f- actual phone call function anymore. I yeah. don't, I, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't, if I, someone's calling me, even if it says mom, I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> nice try. What, you don't think it's your mom? <laughs> or, <laughs> I just, <laughs> nice try. I just assume. My own contacts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, hey, <laughs> good one, at <AT&T. laughs> uh, Nick, what'd you do last night? Oh, we went to uh, the Rick and Morty premiere last night. Woo! Yeah. Oh, shit. It's back. Wubba, wubba, dub, dub. Did you guys like that episode? Yeah. Who said no? Nobody. <laughs> okay, good. It was uh, very fun. Brandon, did you like you it? it? Yeah. Did I like the episode? Did you like the... Uh, uh, how'd you feel? Was this your second one? First one? Uh, this is my first premiere. I don't care for the show itself, but I do like... <laughs> Um, just hanging out with friends. So yeah, yeah. yeah it was nice. it's great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, there was yeah, food. Yeah. There was food. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon was in the Raiders room for a while. It's great. Not, it's like the, the, the t- time on that show moves so slowly that the episode that you inspired, which I will we will call the Vat of Acid episode, like you got to oh, see the fucking so sweet. finished product on that. That's it's an amazing nice episode. Say. I cannot wait to see it. Yeah, it's going to be live action. That's a good room. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? You guys know. It's, a, it's fucking uh, hilarious in there. It's a fun uh, room. We have a good time. Rob's in there. Rob is in there. Fucking Sometimes Trump. there's a dog in there. There's, a lot of, there's two dogs in there constantly. Let's talk about them. Well, one's a little angel. That's Tilda. That's Tilda. Come there's on. a dog named Tilda. Just think of a cute dog. <laughs> That's kind of what it is. It's about the size of this microphone. <laughs> I think that I'm having a lot of trouble. I think one thing because I like last night I was like blackout drunk and I like like went wandering around. Uh-huh. I, I, I have video of you and I holding <laughs> hands prancing downtown. Well, yeah, I, I, I guess you were just like wrangling me or something. I I I, I no, I don't know. You. We were just Do wanted you remember to screaming prance. at me in the photo booth, and then there's a picture of it. I screamed at you. It was not, it was friendly. Not it was great. Okay. It, it was great. But it was right <laughs> as the first picture got taken. So you're sort of like, ha! Ah, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was truly really blackout so drunk. Much fun. I, I think, and I think part of maybe, like, I don't know. I don't want to be like a drama queen, but I just, I also want to be like honest and like try to figure out what the fuck is wrong with me. What am I going through? What, why am I in this weird state? You know, we 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 had our producer friend Mike who who passed away, and like um, his uh, wife was there at the premiere, and I think I think maybe that like set me off. I don't know. That just seems like a something that a fucking horrible drunk uses as an excuse. Like I, but uh, you know, Jewel, like uh, as I've said here before, she was the casting director on the first thing that Rob Schraub and I ever did for TV three decades ago or something. And it was just pure coincidence that her husband was the line producer in Rick and Morty. And then, and then I hadn't seen her since the funeral and she was there at the premiere. And I just like, I can't, I just, I am, I feel, (sighs) I texted her today. Like, like, can you have a drink with me? And she's like, no, I'm at work. (laughs) And I'm like, I I, 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 I don't, I'm like, I'm like, and I, I, I'm like, I keep I keep doing it wrong with this like I like like she was robbed of her husband and I I just have this shame like I'm just filled with shame about it because I feel like we take people from their private lives and we use them in TV and then it's like it was for nothing and as Justin said to me recently it was like do you think that if Mike knew that it was going to end that way, that he would have shown up for a day of this shit? Of course, the answer is obviously no, not at all. Of course not. Like what the fuck? But I, I don't even know. And then to see her there was like, what the fuck are we doing? I, I don't. I don't I, I, it's I, super hard, man, and it's really hard to make sense of it. But I don't know if it's like, is this me grieving? Mm-hmm. Yep. You yeah. sound so sure of it. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't like. Well, it I is. mean, you know, I've grieved. If that's what you've it is, grieved, grieved. You've, you've grieved. I've grieved. <laughs> you haven't grieved, Brandon. I've grieved. Fuck you, you piece of shit. 
I and love it, you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's how that, that's that's the way it works. It who, sucks. Who, who have you lost? Them? I'm an orphan. You know. Oh, you lost both your parents. You yeah, you brought them up earlier in the show. <laughs> you mean when I rapped that I fucked your mama? That's. Did you fuck my mom? <laughs> Brandon, no. I'm a very it special. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon. Your mama. Oh, god damn. I fucked her. Oh. All right. It's, it's a, so it, specific. Uh, it's, a, it's all right. Cut it. Cut it. Sorry. I'm sorry. But it, It's not funny. <laughs> but it is super. it is super hard to see. You have a survivor's guilt. The part of it. And then it's super hard to see the passage of time when you lose somebody. You see that other people that loved them at a function like that. And you naturally look for Mike in that There's room. survivor's guilt and then there's murderer's guilt. Well, you shouldn't uh, have murdered him. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel I'd be like guilty I too. took him away from his family. He w- yeah. Remember that he went on a trip right before... Yeah, I'm and he had great. spent time. I'm glad he got to spend time. Yeah. yeah, I know. No, he was a great family man, yeah. great husband, great father. Yeah. yeah, I took as much of that away as I could, and, and for what? nothing, for well, nothing. Like some people may say that he, the fact that he was great at his job made him a better family man. I yeah yeah no I he I he may I, have yeah, provided like a full universe for a person to express themselves fully. If you looked at that room last night, that's what you saw, is that there's a room full of people who are standing around all agreeing, and that's what you've created. So the fact that Mike was a part of that, a massive part of that, is amazing, and it super sucks that he's gone. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to like fucking draw it out and all that stuff, but, that, but I want to get to the bottom of it. That's the profane thing to me is the idea of like it's this old Hollywood thing of like, yeah, what we do is so important that it's worth human life, and it's not like, I mean that's well, nothing's worth that. It, 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 but but also, if you have like, to be stuck on this motherfucker, you might as well make a show like that. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, he chose the job, right? I, he probably could have quit. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that's why this is so complicated. No, yeah, but like, no, it's actually yeah. You know, we 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 didn't tell you. No, that's there was this controversial program. We yeah, we actually selected him for birth. Nick, how are you? Like, well, what's it like growing up in New why Jersey? Do you, don't say that. And then I, <laughs> uh, I loved growing up in New Jersey. Yeah, what was that like? Um, uh, I like it. I like it better Island than the old Pier? one. I didn't grow up in New Jersey. Okay. I grew up on the Thank Coney God. Island Pier, which <laughs> is not New Jersey, I don't think. You ever go out? Come on, you got you grew up in New Jersey. You went on the Coney Island Pier. I, I was a carnival barker on the, Co- the Coney Island Pier. Where, where where were you born, Nick Rutherford? I was born in Tarzana, California. Are you shitting? Oh me? damn! Fuck yeah! You were born I... in California. You're so funny. <laughs> damn! <laughs> you gotta yeah, live here, man. Southern... <laughs> what? I don't. I'm so confused. What? I. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like everyone here is from somewhere else, and then there's a bunch of people that are just like, "Hey, I was born here. Like, uh, I'm a con artist." Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I'm just Am a I funny wrong? con artist. Uh, all right. I do feel like a con artist a lot of the time. You know, that's... you're a lovely man. Mm, thanks, Dan. I don't know you that well, <laughs> but you but, but you've been very kind to me. You're very nice. Well, we've been we've been hanging out. It's very fun to hang out with you. I, I trust you. We're into wings now. The show. Yeah. <laughs> we just felt like it was a bold choice to set a sitcom at an airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got drizzle wings at uh, yeah. BJ's. Uh-huh. I can't believe there's a restaurant called BJ's. I yeah, worked, What a I, fucked I, up I set of BJ's. initials. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's thinking about his mom again. Uh, does anybody call hit you, it? Does anybody call you BJ? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I worked uh, at Brandon's restaurant. Uh, uh, but yeah, we had drizzle wings. And um, is this is this good content? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what kind of wings? Let's talk about are they those the root beer wings that they got over there at BJ's? 
What? I think they have root beer wings at BJ's now. No, we didn't have those. Oh, well, what were they drizzled with? Root beer. Oh, yeah, they do have those. <laughs> well, yeah. you see. Well, yeah. that's just because you got me self-conscious now. Let's make sure, let's bring out a uh, celebrity guest. Here's uh, Rufy McFamous. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me. <laughs> Rufy, what's up? Hey. Rufy, I understand you have a book or a movie coming out. Yeah. Uh, what's that about? <laughs> Just, Just living, living life on the East Coast, <laughs> hanging out. Is that kind of self uh, autobiographical? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do Do you want me to go? No. <laughs> wait. 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 Are you? I know I'm not a guest, so <laughs> you just made up a guest with a guitar pedal. <laughs> don't, Rufy don't, Mick celebrity. You're ruining the. <laughs> you don't tell people it's a guitar. It pedal. doesn't even. It's not even a modulated. Vo- it's like two voices on top of each other. <laughs> I can't even hear it. I don't even know. I'm just. You just see Rufy that clearly. <laughs> you guys, come on. <laughs> I'm famous. I don't think that pedal is doing anything, honestly. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here we are. Okay. Well, it's me now. I'm more famous <laughs> than ever. Oh, hey. I remember working with uh, Meryl Streep. Uh, oh, uh, on what? On, what, what, on, on uh, a car. Oh, you guys built the, rebuilt built the car. I built a car with Meryl Streep. <laughs> uh, uh, had uh, four <laughs> wheels. Oh, we're good. Fuck. This isn't easy. Being a guest on the show. show. <laughs> no, you don't say. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, famous, and I uh, built a car, uh-huh. and I wrote, wrote a book about it. You got into a lot of trouble recently. Yeah, I got <laughs> kind of rumbled on Twitter. Uh huh. Black Twitter. Twitter. Right. <laughs> the funny one. People don't tell you. That's a whole different Twitter. I love that that's what you think we call it. <laughs> I... I what knew you'd say that. that. And that's what I got in trouble for. As <laughs> I said, I bet it's not called Black Twitter by Black people on Twitter. And then Black Twitter got all upset. And I was like, whatever, snowflakes. Cucks. Cucks? Did I trigger you? Uh, snowflake. Rufy, you're very, you're very right wing. Uh, well, no, that's not true. And I, I, don't, I don't mean to be a contrarian, but I'm a, more of a centrist. I like things the way they were when America was great. <laughs> it just seems like a lot of, like... Uh, what? A lot of what? Well, that terminology... Jew? Yeah. Are you Jewish? I don't even. Because a lot I don't of Jewish people think that. I'm right wing, but I'm not. That's just something Jews say. I well, find. I, well, I'm not. I'm not Jewish. I'm okay. Well, you Catholic. talk like a Jew. Well, no, I don't. Okay. Well, what I'm does a not, Jew talk like? I'm. Well, I don't know because I'm centrist. <laughs> okay, I'm politically neutral. All right, you I, got me. I'm Jewish. Fine. You fucking Jew. I love it. I love you. You're going to get fucked on Jewish Twitter soon, man. Dude, don't, don't get, get me started, <laughs> player. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rufy, everybody. Hey, uh, this is uh, Rufy's publicist. Oh, fuck. And, it's too late. <laughs> and administrator. <laughs> I am the administrator of Black Twitter. <laughs> and uh, we're taking Rufy away now. Yeah. What? What'd you say? He just said it. Ed 209. Oh, Ed 209. A classic yeah. character from the oh, past. Yeah. yeah, Ed 209. This is Ed 209. Uh, you, you got excited. You were like... Yeah, I get it. I can't believe Ed 209 is Rufy McSlavery's hey, publicist. Ed, it's me, Ed 209. <laughs> if anybody wants to yell out a character name at any point, <laughs> please... You know what's exciting was Ed Newmeyer. Like, did we did we talk about it when he was on the show? Like, his his one of his kids is like a non-binary uh, activist, like uh, trans and autistic, like act like you you name it, they're an activist uh, for it. And uh, he wrote RoboCop, 
And since he was on the show, like their kid, who's like this crazy, like not crazy, that's a bad word. Uh, crazy, I meant extreme, like, 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 like super activist, like into trans rights and stuff. Like they've heard my Ed 209 bit where, that I did years ago where I was Ed 209 and I was like, uh, but it was like Ed 209 was uh, gender fluid. And they heard it and they liked it. And they would have yeah. a, a lot of reason not to like it. I think I'm pretty fucking woke. This, this is an this amazing is the part of the like, show. I do fucking edgy shit that's like funny to everybody, and I never offend anyone. Okay, boomer. <laughs> oh, we did it. I uh, did. It, was Ed Two Hundred Nine wasn't the the robot that was addicted to nuke. Right? That no, was, that was, that was uh, T2. Right? Yeah, that, that was, was the uh, Frank Miller written sequel, Robocop 2. And you don't like it as much? Well, I mean, you can't like it if you're a Robocop fan. I mean, it's it, in a vacuum, is a pretty good movie, actually, I would think. Remember the little drug dealer kid? Yeah, the, yeah. the kid. Ed yeah. Newmeyer talked about that. He cursed. I can't believe we had Ed Newmeyer on the show. Well, now you have Nick Rutherford on the show, so yeah, what right, the fuck, right, man? Yeah. So Horrors. what is it? What's it? What was it like being in uh, uh, a uh, 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 human giant? <laughs> uh, it's great. Is, uh, it, is it, Aziz as funny as uh, even funnier in person? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you uh, <laughs> come up with your comedy, uh-huh. what are you smoking? Yeah, because some of these ideas, man, they're out there. What are you smoking when you come up with some of this stuff? Yeah, uh, just high on life and uh, not Jesus, but the Jewish one. <laughs> uh, I guess not Jesus. Excuse yeah. me, Nick. It's me, Black Twitter. <laughs> oh, what's up? What's you, up, my Twitter? You need to. <laughs> Don't even. Don't come. You need to come with me. Oh no! Come with me. Where are we going? Come with me. Okay. Like uh, at the same time. Yep. It's like an X-rated Harvey Corman. <laughs> <laughs> are we walking or are you sucking me? I- <laughs> I'm Who says sucking me? <laughs> <laughs> what in the bot? What in the computer generated porn talk? Yes, keep sucking me. I like it. I, it, it flow. I like it. I feel like if if you everybody out there gets sucked tonight, maybe try saying that. Man, uh, maybe try being specific. <laughs> I, w- I, w- I was sucking you, but I'll, I'll leave, leave now. now. No, oh, hey. Uh, throwing down a smoke pellet. Shit. Where's the door? Goddamn smoke pellets. I can't fucking shit. Fucking door won't open. Black twit here, I got it. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, I, anyways. Is- Wait, you're Black <laughs> Twitter. Nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. Bye. Uber. <laughs> <laughs> You've never called an Uber never before called, in your life. I've, I've heard about it in popular culture. I assume that's how it works. Uber. <laughs> Coming right up. Hi. Hello. Uh, get in. Yes. <laughs> Are you a random person? <laughs> yes. So it works like a cab? Yes. Wait. Why am I asking you? I don't know. <laughs> it works like a cab? Yes. All right. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> I see on your settings that you prefer quiet and cool. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, I have a band, and I'd like to play some of their music, if that's cool. Cool? Says you prefer cool. If you like cool, then let me introduce you to... 
Six feet under. <laughs> My band. What the fuck? I can't. I'm black Twitter, and I've. Uh, you would think I would be used to disappointment and confusion. I don't. What the fuck? Just listen. <laughs> Six feet under. Oh. So your band immediately released a song. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Bad Company. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everyone's gonna get that reference. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like Phil Collins. Does he Phil Col- never had a song <laughs> named Phil Collins? No, I don't. I don't think he ever said his name in any of his songs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think you uh, d- d- choose whatever reference you want. Okay. Uh, uh, Tori Amos. I am, after all, black Twitter. Tori Amos. What? What a, Just listen to the thing. I'm sorry. I, Manny. <laughs> 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 They love it. Keep going. <laughs> Six feet up. We, we, we want to know how this going song is. Going long and going strong. Uh, yeah. Six feet <laughs> yeah. under. You're in a grave, but you won't be buried long. I am. Six feet under. Wow. That's cool. Um, oh, uh, I'm so Black about, Twitter came around. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, look, I, uh, uh, everyone expects Black Twitter to not be into uh, white people shit. I like this band. I love, <laughs> white, I love Six Feet Under. Good. Do you want to go see them in concert? Yes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Three hours later... That'll be seven hundred dollars. God damn it! <laughs> they were, where they were performing in like Arizona? Yep, that's cool. <laughs> Oi! Oh, it's not six feet under. They're Irish. I think they're Australian. <laughs> hey. yeah. Jamaican. Hey. Everything's Irene. <laughs> mate. Jamaican. Jamaican. Yeah. yeah. Mate. All right, all right. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, so it's uh, it's kind of a show, but not a show. Six feet under? No, this. Oh. I this is know. kind of... A, I mean, this feels like a show. I think we did We're good sta- so far. We're fine, yeah. Right? yeah, I think we did good. How's Harmon Quest going? Oh, it's done. Um, we put it out already, and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's in the hands of the people. Yep. Um, you got any numbers on that? Did you retain the office's ratings? Uh, we were... No. That we was never. always the metric when I was your age. Yeah. That makes sense. How much of the office did you retain? I don't think any of it. Okay, well, you you failed then. Yeah. By We're that. moving you to 8 p.m. Good luck. I mean, that sounds great. <laughs> well, uh, okay, CBS thinks so too. Fuck off. Oh, shit. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. Steve hey. Levy. Steve Levy looking wonderful tonight. Doing a big hug. Jesus. That's, That's how drunk I am that Levy brought out the booze like an hour into the show <laughs> instead of 20 minutes. <laughs> he was like, maybe this, maybe this will help. I don't know. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's more alcohol. We get to start booking real guests. <laughs> per se. <laughs> oh, All right. no, he's Thank back. You, Steve. No applause. Hey, uh, Nick, when it comes to cities, Tarzana not being from California... Tarzana, yeah. you have a rivalry with what city? <laughs> well, I... Uh, uh, J- 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 Janesville. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> civilization. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't grow up in Tarzana. Okay. I grew up in Thousand Oaks. Okay. Oh, okay. So I was born in the valley, raised in Ventura County. Thousand Oaks is great. I grew up in Moore Park, and when you wanted to have fun, you would go to Thousand Oaks. Or if you wanted to not have very much fun, you go to Simi Valley. Yeah, Simi Valley is like more kind of funkier... 
The thing I knew about CV Valley is they had uh, an outlier in terms of per capita incest rates. <laughs> and an outlier... And the show's of- back on track, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Christ. What did you get here by bus? <laughs> Holy shit, entertainment finally arrived. Yeah, no, but all the cool people went to Thousand Oaks. That's where the mall was. More oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. How did you find out about the incest thing, and then what are the, what are the numbers? I looked at the census. It's, no, I, I don't know. I, I, I it's ran on their, the numbers. It's on their, like, welcome to see me sign. <laughs> it was it, yeah. It says population, population, but really. Population 20,000, 5,000 incest. (laughs) (laughs) When are we going to confront the fact pornographically that literally everyone is getting online and like... Like it's like stupid. Like, Fucking por- por- their steps. Pornhub is this beautiful thing where they like they can report these numbers. They go, "Happy St. Patrick's Day!" Here's how many people search for leprechaun rape. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. it's like it's like what's his name, Kinsey? Like like that's what we had back in the day was that Kinsey guy, like like who who basically just represented to everyone who's like, "Hey, whatever you're thinking, like no one's normal." That was that was his contribution right. to mankind, and that's kind of what Pornhub represents. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's like they're they're like, "Hey, everybody, you're all searching for incest porn, all of you." Well, that's all keep, there keep is. Keep judging. Now. I heard someone say that that the increase, like the attention towards incest porn, signaled a deep lack of connection felt by the user base. Everyone is feeling <laughs> super isolated, and they don't have any sort of connections to draw upon. So, you know, when you kind of eroticize that, that's like the truest form of a bond is someone who's already your family. But it's a, it's a, it's a, I, I find that in, uh, this is going to sound silly, but I find that incredibly unscientific. I, oh no, that's philosophical. Like one could very easily say philosophically that no, it's the opposite. Like that people uh, are too connected with their families. It's tab- it's well, too I connected. Like, here's a like, sample size of one, but I hate everyone in my family, and I love incest porn. So you know, <laughs> I guess that's also not scientific. It's just taboo, right? It's like I well, that's part of it. Like, sure, it's, it's like you got to. I think it's like. It, but my biggest question is. Does sex have to be taboo? That's my huge question. Like, could you? If I'm let, paying good money, <laughs> could could <laughs> could humankind, if they were given an infinite sandbox, if they were given total permission, and there was no such thing as taboo, would sexuality? I I my 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 speculation, my gut tells me. It, that uh, sex is not automatically tied to uh, naughtiness, and yeah. that, that it's just—it's not even American. It's just like human, like Homo sapien. Like we kind of, we just have this thing. Like, oh, it's naughty because we're so into it, and part of what we're into is the naughtiness. It's like putting your thumb over a garden hose; it like makes it spray more. This is how you jerk off? That's <laughs> how I do it, yeah. The, the, the inhibition is yeah. what drives things, but I don't think that that thumb needs to be there. I think there's a version of humanity that just flows out of the hose. Like, Well, I think taboo, taboo is attractive the same way it's attractive to touch a hot stove. It's like, I know I can't do that, so I want to. But it's like, so that's part of what's in porn, but I, don't, I think that's a human inclination that then goes and ties in with our shame towards sex and stuff. But yeah, I think that we would still seek out various forms of taboo if sex weren't taboo, but there's it wouldn't an, be. There's another function of taboo that I think, when I explore it myself, when I go like, why is it that I'm thinking about this fucked up shit, you know, when I have so much permission to do whatever I want I, I like why am I continually going to like bad places where I'm not supposed to be I'm gonna grab that officer's gun <laughs> <laughs> that's all I think about it hot stoves and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but once I have it killing then I'll know and I think the answer is because as human beings <laughs> as animals we want to just engage in sex we want to have fun with sex but we we work with each other. We wear neckties. We go like, oh, uh, can I take your order, please? Like we have we we have alphabets. We don't just fuck to make up words. Like we we don't just shit in the street. We go in toilets. And so we, as human beings, as sentient mammals, we we don't even trust ourselves to be fully sexual. 
unless we build a wall around it. We need to we need it to be private or we don't really actually trust that it's erotic. Or intimate. I mean, that's the other component of it is that because it's intimacy, it's got to be hidden. So there is this automatic built-in naughty, right? It's it's because you're eating chocolate, you know. Well, it's kind of like how many friendships are based off of like like this moment where you like take each other aside and you're like, are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's like naughty. There's something. It's like shit talking a third friend or some situation you're both in. It's like it's that it is the fact that you're not supposed to be saying what you're saying that actually makes ma- makes what you're going through sincere. Yes. And there's something really funny about that. It, 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 it equates to me with that feral pig thing where the reason feral pigs are a problem is because uh, uh, there are people who are incentivized to hunt feral pigs, and so they're breeding the pigs. Like, if, they, if you really wanted feral pigs to go away, you should make it not legal to hunt them Whereas Shit. if you and if you really wanted like taboo sexuality to go away, you should like accept that sexuality is what it is. Yeah. And then it would because people would then be like, oh, okay, I'm allowed to be sexual. But it's like I, I for my money, I'm like, I'm I, I find myself with Cody, like I, I, my mind will wander. I'm like, why is my mind wandering when I'm with Cody? Like we're already filthy enough. <laughs> like we do we do we get up to enough like bad shit. And and I'm like it's be, oh it's be, it's because you want to trick your brain into only focusing on the primal sexuality like you trust it then you're like well there's no way this has anything to do with anything other than my dick then if this is what's going on I nailed it <laughs> <laughs> it's drywall taboo is drywall it's just like this like it's uh. It's drywall. a taboo's drywall. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. We proved it. Well, I mean, I think you you kind of hit on it that like you have a little secret. People bond over secrets, right? They bond right. over something that they can withhold from other people, and that's that is on, uh, in a way connection. Also, uh, can we get back to the touching the hot stove? I'll get there. Okay. What do you want to talk about it? I don't. Ha- I I am so afraid of getting burnt. I got burnt making popcorn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the story. Well, uh, do you do you have the thing where when you're up, when you're up high, you picture yourself jumping off? Yes, of, yeah, I do have that. I think I think the human mind has this this mechanism, and it's a survival mechanism where it's kind of like flashcards. It runs through scenarios and then has visceral reactions to that, and those cement the the like connections in our brain. And so you think of jumping off a cliff, and then you're like, "Bad, that's scary, that's horrifying," and you're like. Okay, if I'm in a situation where that actually comes up, I'll remember that feels terrible and I won't do it. The same with grabbing a cop's gun. Or, you know, like... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you keep wedging that in there, man. I, that's, it, that's the kind uh, of thing. That whenever I see a cop, I'm like, man, I could just <laughs> sucker punch him right in the neck. <laughs> it, but it's like, why, love... why are you, what do you do with it? You're only going to seal your own death. Like, that's the only thing that could come of that. But it's something I think about all the time. Um, I can't stop. <laughs> no, um, we know, we know. <laughs> But yeah, like I, so I think there's a lot of shameful thoughts we have and then we have guilt associated with it, but it's like you having that thought and then that reaction is you affirming like your ethical nature or something, you know? And I think that's I think people think those thoughts and they're like, "Oh, this is so violent or something. This is I'm so fucked up." But it's like, "No, you you're revulsed by that and that's because like that's your brain reminding you to not be a sociopath because if you're like, "Oh man, that actually seems like a fine thing to do with no consequences." <laughs> that means your brain doesn't work right, you yeah, know. Yeah, I feel like you know, I feel like the worst elements among us are constantly using like naturalism. We've talked about this before. Yeah. Like they they're like like they they, they act like if they can conceive of the idea that it would be natural or people would have a natural inclination, it's like, aha, that's proof. Like, women do this, and you know it, ladies. Don't fucking deny it. Ah, we proved it. It's like, yeah, but you people take shits, but you do it in a toilet because if you did it in the street, we'd all get sick. Yeah, natural, natural. it's called like the naturalism fallacy. It's a classic logical fallacy that people use to try and excuse behavior, but it just doesn't hold up. Most of the time because... Uh, well, like you said, like we built a toilet because shitting is natural. Yeah, like it's and like we, and and we toilets all get are to fucking live awesome. To eighty instead of fifty because yeah. of it. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, like, so natural like isn't good. Yeah. But their whole natural premise sucks. is natural is better than unnatural. It's, and it it's doesn't wrong. make any sense. Like alphabets aren't natural. No, we fucking made that shit up. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to think a, that all the B, words are made up. C, it's crazy. Yeah. 
Cause G? <laughs> e? Come on. Come on with E. Yeah, what fuck E. F? <laughs> come, yeah, after I do, all I, that, then F. I like F. I mean, okay. Ooh, uh, okay. F's pretty this cool. Like but F. G? H? This is like your... Uh, Big H fan <laughs> over there. Big H. <laughs> Guy loves H. I like, uh, you know, bon- b- bonobo monkeys. Yeah, the like sex. And you know what they love? Incest. Yeah. <laughs> and fucking gang orgies. And, yeah, they, yeah, they, they, it's like conflict resolution. No, they love winky fencing. They are genetically <laughs> our look it up. The closest animal to us that's also another species. Uh-huh. We are bonobos. I'm very fascinated by it. But we, what, they don't have religion or, or like you know, <laughs> Protestantism telling you like. Don't, uh, this is the limit, that was the biggest word I know. Uh, don't, uh, you know, don't, you gross. Oh, you grabbed a booby? That's gross. Don't, don't touch have a, that. yeah. Period. You know what bonobos do when they get into a fucking tussle over a banana? They suck each other off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they have orgies. They're, they, that's what, their break dance. One of the bonobos is like, oh, you're sucking me right now. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, they're like, like two bonobo tribes are like, there's only so much fresh water here. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. I got an idea. And, 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 then, and then someone's like, all right, ooh, it's ooh. go time. Ooh, ah, ooh. And, then, and then they just all fucking suck and, and then lick. They, and yeah, they wake up and they're like, Who, we can uh, yeah. share the what, water. Yeah, what the fuck, man? <laughs> God like, damn. Let's all agree. The only reason we wanted water is so we could hydrate, so we could do this. More fucking. And goddamn, you're a great That's sucker. There's my sister. That's... There's my cousin. There's my <laughs> Uncle Glenn. Like, we're doing it fucking upside down. <laughs> I, the scientists were studying bonobos. Like, there's a there's a huge like lag behind the uh, scientific study of them because in the 50s, people the, were just like they kept like noting their behavior and then like not writing it down. Literally, they were just like, "Well, that's fucked up. I can't write that down. <laughs> that's crazy. I can't tell my wife what I watched today." That, and that is the generation. I'm a primatologist, not a pornographer. Yeah. Right. And they would just go, well, that's an outlier. It turns out we are the outliers. That is what we are. We want to fuck and suck, baby. That's it. That's all we have to do to live is eat and fuck. That's it. But Desmond Morris says, well, then we had to compete well, with wolves. So like the other part of us is like, we have this pack mentality, this alpha mentality. Like we're ashamed of our fucky sucky part. Like like uh-huh. we hate we hate how communist we are. We hate that we just want to groom each other and like lick each other's tits. We so, we, we we don't like it because it 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 uh, it it suggests to us that we're gonna die, which is not a, an unfounded belief genetically because our primate cousins are like dying, and we are. But they're dying because they didn't invent drywall. Well, that, I mean, they're, they're dying, like, not really because of us. They're just dying because it's hard to have a planet that's so lush that its equator can support this fucking giant tailless ape that doesn't climb trees anymore because it's too heavy and just hangs out and wipes its ass with its hand and fucking, like, howls at the moon. Um, it, it like, like, it's, a, it's like a flash in the pan, but the, the, like the, the, the version of those primates that like experimented with this weird forebrain, that's us. And here we are going strong. We're ashamed of our animal nature. We hate the part of us that is like, would, would save our lives right now. We hate, we hate that we just want to chill. And if we just held ourselves to the standard that we had when we were chimpanzees, we could fucking save the world. Like, but we have this compulsion. We're just like, yeah, but what about my iPhone? What about the fucking smokestacks? What about the rocket ships? What about fighting this other person? Like, we, we, you, you, you told me, Brandon, at one point, like, 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 we still genetically, like, we, we're acting like we're, uh, we have this feeling like we're competing over resources. Yeah, scarcity. That no matter, I mean, at the end of the day, you, you, we go through all this, this technology and we, we get to these great heights, but there's always like two floors of, of breast augmentation and like one floor for sick kids with cancer because we're monkeys and we're just like, titty, oh, titty, make titty room. <laughs> Gotta make titty floor, titty floor. Like, well, your kid's sick. I know my kid's sick, titty, titty, titty. <laughs> Got a titty, shiny monkey, banana, more, more banana. And you can tell monkeys, this is going to be awful for you. This piece of technology is going to be yeah. awful for you, whether it's breast augmentation or a cell phone screen. And they're like, 
Yeah, but titty. Yeah, but can you imagine a monkey with tits? That would be uh, fucking so hell yeah. yeah. If you could like just talk to a chimpanzee, if chimpanzees could talk, that would be, if you could che- teach one to talk, not sign language, none of that bullshit. Oh, that, okay, like, not sign language bullshit. All right, sorry, deaf people that listen to the podcast. Um, <laughs> We're going to lift that. They're going to hear gonna you gonna laugh, and it's going to be <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, Yeah, you guys, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, that's on cool. you guys. That was a test. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's signing you guys to them, it's on you guys. If you could, if a chimpanzee could actually have a sentient conversation with us, that would be, we, that's what we need. The atonement with the fire. We have that. It's called the Netflix? president. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, in. no, that's a fucking wolf. That guy's a fucking jag off. I, like, like a, a, ch- a chimpanzee would go, Okay, what, what what what's all this ruckus? What are you, what are you guys doing? What's happening? And we'd be like, we're trying to save the earth. We got ants from what? Spotted leopards, giraffes, ants? Like, what is it? Chimpanzee would be like, what the fuck is your problem? Calm down. Is it like like? We, and we'd be like, no, no, no. It's uh, these people in Saudi Arabia, and they're doing like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Like. What what are you so fucking panicked about? But they're tribal. They 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 yeah. They literally yeah. war. Yeah, yeah chimpanzees yeah, are tribal. gnarly. But they're, they're just they, as worried as we are. Just about you know. All right. Well, you guys are taking it a little more literally. Oh, the get, monkey mad because oh. we told him he a monkey. Look yeah, here, I, monkey. Yeah, I know if we could talk to an actual monkey that the, they'd be inferior to us culturally. You know what you should that. do is rip that guy's head open and use his brain. <laughs> <laughs> That'll right. solve your problem. I, 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 I just mean I'm saying like like. Like us, like the real different, minus Dan. the thing that separates <laughs> us from chimps, which is like this fucking compulsion to reach for the stars. We like, are no, we, our stars are shit. If we could just accept, if we were just to take a, a one breath and go, what if we, just as a litmus test, what if we just for one second held ourselves to the standard of the chimpanzee? And fuck frogs. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and yeah. like, which would define a frog as a great Saturday afternoon. And which would define indoors as a fucking miracle because we control the weather. Like a chimpanzee that could make a house would be a chimpanzee that wouldn't make war. A chimpanzee, they would be like, are you fucking kidding me? But they me? do. They make they make uh, like leave houses and leave beds and, and they they. I, feel, I, feel like I get I what you're bump, saying. I don't want to bump you I think what you're saying is or, I don't know. I, I keep coming back to more and more in my life that like humans are driven to strive. We like being in conflicts. We like we, we have a goal and we go for this goal. But then you hit that goal and you're like, well, this fucking sucks. I hate this. I hate myself. Nothing has changed. I still want to die. We're afflicted as a species. Yeah, like, but I have... think that so like if you could like go to therapy and work that out. But it's like every human has that, and I think that's evolutionary because it's like, oh man, I. I just got to jump over this cliff so I get away from the wolf. And like a couple people survived and passed down that trait. And it's like, I'm really good under serious pressure. And I only feel like alive under pressure. And once I accomplish the thing that I evolutionarily am allowed to accomplish, I don't feel better because evolution wants me to keep going, keep doing those same things and keep propagating a species. Like but that you, just makes us all miserable. Like if you put a spider in yes. an aquarium full of flies, mm-hmm. like it, and it was like, I got to build a web, I got to build a web. And you'd be like, dude, you don't have to build a web. And the spider would be like, what are you talking about? How am I going to catch all these flies? No, the flies are right there. Like right. If, the, if the spider could just understand and cheat the system and go, oh, the flies are there, I'll save all of this biological energy that God gave me, like, uh, like that my metabolism is so high because like, it expects my ass to like crank out silk. <laughs> um, what if the spider was aware enough to go, yeah, but I don't have to do that. There's a bucket of flies here. It, that's the situation that we could be in. You assume we could that go, the web is built to catch the flies, not uh-oh. that he has a compulsion to build the web without knowing its relation to the flies. Whoa. What? Yeah, that is it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> because that is the human experience. Yeah, we well, just that's, gotta well, do it. That's what, uh, yeah, I agree with you there. That's the thing. Skyscrapers, yeah. space programs, alphabets, eyeglasses, insulin, uh, podcasts, yeah. uh, uh, Oprah, uh, <laughs> Tom Tom Hanks, uh, uh, toothpicks, oh, so uh, wallpaper. Oh, uh, we didn't start the fire. I like this. I, I, uh, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> all of it is like a web we're spinning. Like humans have, we, we and we have ourselves convinced that we're like making these decisions. We're not at all. Obviously, it's compulsive behavior, or we wouldn't fucking do the shit that yeah. we do. 
It's obviously compulsive, yeah. obviously. Like, and we, but we measure intelligence by this thing where we go like, well, if you know what you're doing and then you choose to do it, that means it's your choice. That's f- horse shit. We're not, we're not choosing shit, Jack. Right. It's true. Nick, what, it's a lot, but like uh, your book's coming out, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're going to read of chapter? Yeah, I lived with the bonobos for a year and <laughs> <laughs> we you, would just did... suck and fuck each other all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I drank since 10 a.m. And How much do you think you drank? We know how long you drank, but I how much like do you think you drank? 75,000 units of alcohol. That might be right. How are you still able to do all this? It's called functional alcoholism, and it's like the most dangerous kind. Did you see Denzel Washington in flight? Yeah, he saved all those people. Yeah, yeah those yeah, people were so fuck? pissed. He's a goddamn not, hero. That's why that movie is not. so important. Because Denzel has nobody, he's the only one holding himself accountable at the end. He could fly a plane upside down, and he could get away with drinking while flying. And then finally at the end, he alone has to be like, nah, dude, fuck you, I'm drunk. (laughs) I I really was bummed by that ending. I don't know what that says about me. I'll never watch that movie again, but (laughs) I will forever say that was such a, in in the world of cinematic portrayals of alcoholism, that is like, the yeah. fucking end all be all. Yeah. That and McNulty in the wire. Like that, like like when he would get drunk, McNulty. Nick I Nolte? F- fuck you guys. On the wire? Mick, yeah. The wire. Oh. Come on. I've never I have never seen The Wire. Oh, for fuck's David sake. David Simon? Oh my god, they just turned on me so hard. The a whole audience th- is over it. A fun thing I'm to sorry do. Sorry, there wasn't a dragon in it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerd. I've never I didn't watch Game of Thrones either. I watch Wings. <laughs> yeah, oh, hilarious. God damn it. Nolan, where are my wing heads at? Nolan, Let, our director, really Let's see loves him flap him. Let's meet one friend who, who, who really genuinely feels like they deserve attention. Uh oh. I, I, I'm proud of you guys. That was an amazing response. This it's dude has silence. a sign. It says, Give me 90 seconds to speak. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Well, if they made a sign, let's find out what the what it's about. <laughs> come on, come on, sign guy. Yeah, he got to come up because uh, he got to come up. Come on, sign it's guy. It's a hostile audience. He made a sign. Who came from the farthest? Because there's a lot of people in town for the last couple. Florida. Who's farther than Florida? We have anybody from Italy, Germany? Man, Germany, y'all always fuck up when y'all get up here. But uh, we might fuck with you later. <laughs> What's this, your name, this friend? A, this guy's like the perfect version of me. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. This is so <laughs> fucked up. He's like airbrushed you. Oh, yeah. I like look horrible. tired and sick next to him. <laughs> His fucking shirt's open. And you took a Photoshop I, tool and just <laughs> went, vroop, 25. Vroop. God, good guess, yeah. God damn it. He probably sings. There's, uh, That's another good guess, yeah. What's yeah, your name, friend? Uh, my name is Pele. Pe- wait. It's named after a the soccer amazing player? soccer player. Yeah. Oh, Pe- oh yeah. Pele. Oh. Yeah. yeah, my dad was a big uh, soccer fan. I, uh, to the audience, I waited for like a moment where he asked. I didn't just raise it. You know what I mean? No. It's, I ju- yeah, uh, no you got to no. forgive us. Wait, this is a sign guy? This is a sign guy. Well, everybody, I feel pretty good relax. then. Our, 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 our audience, everybody relax. I, I, I very much respect our audience's like, skepticism about people that come up. and like, yeah, You're right to... That's good. You're going like, hey, look, I'm not like some crazy person that just really thinks they're entitled you to did it. That's what the audience sign. worries about. Like, oh, don't... don't ru- yeah. I could have been up there and I didn't go up there. Well, you just can't go up there because you want to be up there. You're, you're humble and you've, you've done it. You nailed it. Now you can do whatever you want. Be racist. I'm... <laughs> Uh, I'm mixed race. That would be a strange choice for me. So but it would be okay. So racist to say that. <laughs> I don't see mixed race. What, uh, what did your sign <laughs> say? The idea that mixed race people can't be racist, Hilarious. I find really offensive as a white person. Uh, what did your sign say? Uh, it was kind of overpromising because I thought that I could like weave together uh, some like disparate ideas. The sign said, uh, give me 90 seconds and I can offer a, a fulfilling conclusion you had 60 seconds right now Sorry, bro. 90 90 seconds oh geez. you had 60 seconds right now bro 60 okay all right so i got people from germany wanting to get up here bro you I'm better hurry I'm up from canada if that makes a difference i'm still I sitting got pretty your you're so handsome you're like handsome nick rutherford I I don't know. don't let him don't let him thwart you you all got right. 30 more seconds <laughs> <laughs> um, i just i 
Firstly, I want to thank you for doing what you do, not just for this and for Harmon it's, Quest. You know, I, 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 it's not always easy, but <laughs> I do it for the people. And I, I appreciate that. And also for opening up your platform over the years. I've been listening to you for a while to people who wouldn't otherwise be heard, regular people like myself and socialists and minorities, and you're using your soft power, your platform, uh, to allow people to talk. Even you're, if you're welcome. <laughs> But shouldn't he use his hard power? I've, doesn't it feel like... You did say soft power. Yeah. Is that a phrase? Yeah, I'm a political theorist. That's why I want oh, to really? talk. Oh, yeah. really? What does soft power mean? So soft power is everything that's not hard power. It's, it, <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck off the stage! <laughs> it's, I, I, academia, I got it. You yeah. just survived hard, for six years. No, so hard power is like guns and money. It's military oh, okay. might and the straight up actual capital P power whereas soft power Hegemony. is diplomacy and yeah uh, hegemonic cultural, forces cultural forces like if yeah. your country has all the movies right or if you are power. a person who runs shows that are in the what zeitgeist then you have some you soft power to, to you did you want to say or if you happen to be <laughs> no I sidetracked him I sidetracked him um, gotta be better than that you get up here what did you want to say right sure <laughs> so uh, I am a little flustered you might imagine right now but essentially what I unacceptable sitting next to me yeah it's yeah. gotta be I, hard. I run a yeah. tight ship um, but I don't take photos of this guy. <laughs> take photos of Nick. Not with me next to him. It's like a before and after. <laughs> this is like faces of meth right here. <laughs> Pele, get in there, man. Get it in there, really Pele. It's like you. Uh, you <laughs> okay, we know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you've you've over the years I've like watched as you've like like gone from 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 being a centrist. Uh, 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 hey, man. Uh, Give me uh, security. Uh, Sorry, you don't give me security. Uh, anarchist leaning, uh, 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 apolitical person into sort of recognizing your role as, as you quoted, the world shifted under your uh, feet. Right. Um, and I just think that you've gone on a lot of rants. I've seen you existentially worry about the state of politics and power, but you've never like delved into actually political theory. So uh, I, I, I just wanted to get one idea out to your brain. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, that, go for it. Nazism. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> Mixed race Nazism. Hear me it out. It actually is practical. <laughs> it is the race that will dominate eventually. It makes sense. <laughs> it's what God wants. <laughs> Mixed race Nazism. <laughs> it works. Hey, sorry. What, what, Let's what, get back what, in there, Pele. Let's right. get back in there. Yeah, okay, I'm back. All right. So, see, Rutherford had you on the ropes. <laughs> so, murdered you. This is penalty Ooh. time, Pele. Come on. Uh, essentially, um, it, it seems like, and maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like uh, you are recognizing the issues of late stage capitalism. Uh, uh, oh, they drew. You know, they booed Drake off stage last night. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know what LA will do to you. Unless you get to that second song we all want to hear. <laughs> now let's go. Okay. Um, and it well, seems I feel like flustered. That's not fair. I feel bad for no. Like let it, like say whatever you want. This like, is a really long ninety seconds. I'm sorry. Do it. Um, and it seems like th that to some degree you circle around the idea of anarchism as the alternative. Um, and what that is doing is taking a corrupt and uh, outdated mode of power or power structure and then replacing it with a lack of power instead of fixing the power structure or evolving it. Yeah, I agree with you totally. No, I'm saying that that doesn't work because of the nature. Oh, wait, <laughs> I disagree with you. No, wait, I've, yeah, okay, sorry, continue. I, yeah, so uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, anarchy is impossible because right. of the maxim of power. Like the essential nature of what power is is that it looks to uh, concretize itself, to cement itself, to to understand itself, and and it doesn't go away like that. Right. So you need to fix the power structure, not dissolve the power structure. Right. Um, it sounds nice in theory because it's like, oh, hey, everybody is on equal footing and everybody has equal power. But it's just what you're doing by the dissolution of political power is not empowering people. You empower people by having a political power that is powerful enough to. Uh, give power to the people. Yeah, we don't tend to roll as anarchists. We don't tend to roll. We don't tend to roll non-hierarchically. We tend to, no matter what, you give us an infinite sandbox. You give us like a bunch of mushrooms and like like the, it's, 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 hierarchies tend to happen. Or we're because we're primates. Like we yeah. tend to fucking start leveraging each other and exchanging things, and people tend to rise up. And you go like, "Hey, is it me or is that guy more awesome than that guy?" Like it, you, you kind of start to compare things. Why yeah. would you say that? 
<laughs> yeah. Why I'm was that the yeah. example you gave? Uh, I mean, I think I, I, but I, yeah, I used to like, I was way left of Noam Chomsky when we started this podcast because I was like, I had that privilege. Like, I never cared. About, I thought all politics was horse shit because it was dangling chads. And are you going to convince me Al Gore is any different from fucking George Bush and all my fucking bullshit? And then we went through, <laughs> we, we sure showed me. <laughs> Well, you really showed me a thing or two. That, like, politics is not bullshit. It actually is a thing. Um, because both parties, admirably or not, like, they both got hacked at the same time. Like, the Democrats got hacked by, quote-unquote, socialists, to, for, you know, just to oversimplify. And the re Republicans got hacked by, to oversimplify, Nazis. And, like, because they were both smart enough to go, well, we're not going to suffer the third-party fate. And it, 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 what happened, it was just, like, this crazy... So then politics became real politics. And then once it did, I was like, oh, shit, I guess I can't be an anarchist anymore. I really can't. Because you actually have a bipartisan system that actually means something now. Because yeah. right actually means Nazi and left actually means socialist. And I don't want either of them. Because um, I want what, what I want my Obama back. The, the other things that I was saying was total um, uh, straight theory. This is just opinion to some degree. I mean, it's based on, you can look at the empirical studies and you can look at the theory of it. And essentially, you can call it reform liberalism or democratic socialism, democratic socialism or social democracy. They're all just different steps of the same thing, which is a synthesis of market society and uh, a powerful enough leviathan to provide for people. But that seems to, that, that's the thing that is required. You're so handsome. I Thank can't, you so much. I can't well, can I focus please have a drink? I'm so saying. proud of you. I just want, to, I just, like, I just want you Here to you read go. my just, paper. Just take my life. Uh, <laughs> uh, here he goes. Hey, I'm Mick, 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 Mick. Leave the scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I honestly, I'm too drunk to have followed what you just said, uh, and that's on me, not you. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm like, we've been doing this podcast for eight years. I've, tr I've tried to be upfront about my politics, which is like, man, I was sucking my thumb and going like, no, voting is bullshit and democracy's not. And real. you have been. You're, you're amazing. I so and appreciate how And then I, I told how people when I changed it. my mind, yeah. I told people I was really wrong. And I got real invested to the extent that I'm like, no, man, it's not even politics to me when it's like fascism versus anything other than that. And most recently, because it's primary season and stuff, I'm like, I'm not even going to talk about it because I don't want to be like, I'm an Elizabeth Warren guy and have everybody, because I totally respect everybody. Like, I don't want them fighting. Like, it is a fucking heartbreak that the good guys, and yeah, they're the good guys, that they're all fighting. They have to fight now. And so I, I can't even, it's like, I just watch the whole thing play out and I'm like, God damn it, I wish there was some way that we could be as unified as the shit faces. You can't, as far as I can tell. I mean, as somebody who's involved in politics, progressive politics, that's where the thinkers are and that means that you get really neurotic people who are all worried about uh, very specific and, and small issues or wording and, and... When you think about, like, 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 uh, like I, I had talked on this podcast about, because I heard some uh, Radio Lab episode or whatever about the Irish system, like, the, where they do... The like, alternative, ranked chose floating, right? Yeah, and it's like, everyone gets five votes, and then they do some system where it's like... Every alternative oh, yeah, yeah. ballot. It, uh, first it, past the post is, is terrible and antiquated. It doesn't... Yeah! Work very well at all. Yeah. It, 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 it makes sense. It's like, true. Like Look it you, up. When you actually Truly, yeah. think about that. Is that what like, that is? The five votes is the first past no, the post? No, no, that's our system. Oh. Here and in Canada, which is where I'm from, is first past the post. And, and he's Canadian. Oh, my oh God. You're, you're tri-racial. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other half of the, of the bite. I bet Thank you so much, Pele. You were wonderful. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Oh. You nailed it, buddy. Thanks to Pele, our it. real guest. A real guest. That was a real guest. Thank you, Pele. That, right, man. That's you. the guest you want. And we have, uh, let's bring somebody else up. Do you think Pele is his real name? Yeah, do you no. you think he's like, I don't want to be, like, I mean, that seems like if I was going to pick a fake name and be handsome, I'd be like, Pele. I want to know, is Pele, and you could just shout this out, are you caught up on the podcast? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what if Who, he said uh, no? No. I'd be like, get out of get security. <laughs> Why did you ask that? Uh, I had a hunch. Who came from the furthest, farthest away? Where? 
Shit. Whoa. Pakistan. Pakistan. Let's, uh, uh, let's go, Pakistan. That's hey, can we also have Germany? To, uh, Where's Germany? <laughs> do we have Germany? Come up, Germany. We'll do two birds with one stone. Hi. What's your name? Myra. Myra? Myra here. Thank you. Myra from Pakistan. Uh, what's your name? Vincent. 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 Where are you from, Vincent? Germany. 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 Vincent, hi. Oh, I'm big. You can't uh, see my, my mic doesn't work? No. <laughs> we can share one. <laughs> are you visiting from Pakistan or are you... Um, I uh, moved here like three months ago. I'm uh, doing grad school at USC. So is it like a, is that a student visa? It's, yeah, it's like it's, an F1 student visa. Okay, so visa. it's not like b citizenship, but it's like they give you enough time to study and... Yeah, um, so I my program is for two years, and then like if I get a job, I can stay for like a year, but that's it. Unless, of course, you were to get a husband, you know. Pele, stand up, baby. <laughs> Brandon, God that's not it. what the show is for. Oh, stupid ass job. What's your, what, 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 what are you studying? Architecture. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. That's so cool. Um. <laughs> what do you like about architecture? Not what I'm studying right now. <laughs> oh, no. What are you studying right now? I'm doing, like, all the technical stuff, like building science. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, like, earthquake proofing and shit. Like, it's not that fun. Right. It's not the fun stuff. It sounds kind of... Are you, you're, but you're not going to quit, right? You're no, not, no, like, no. fuck architecture. No, no, fuck you're no. just like, I'll get through this. Uh, of and course. Then I'll, and then I'll get to be Frank Lloyd Wright later. Yeah. <laughs> Do you respect Frank Lloyd Wright, or is that, like, no, no, Freud? No, no, of course. And... Everybody respects okay. him. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like, I, took, I took psych, and everyone was like, first of all, fuck Freud. And I'm like, really? <laughs> Didn't he, like, invent talking about your brain? Like, yeah, but he said you want to fuck your mom and eat shit. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, but that's a start. <laughs> Turns out he was right. <laughs> I mean, he was like it's, like, it's like, yeah, he's wrong about a bunch of shit, but it's like, how much disrespect for that? Anyways, I just, I, I wouldn't shock me if you had said, like, as a millennial, you're not even millennial, are you? Or Generation Z? Do you, like, you know? I don't, I don't really know the, yeah. like, distinction. I mean, I'm 27. What? Yeah, what does that whatever make that me? is. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I don't know. You're, 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 you're in control. That's what you are. But um, I just I want to say something to you. Uh -oh. So <laughs> no, it's nothing bad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so I was at the community reunion yesterday. Oh shit! It was so fucking emotional. Oh. I like I cried when you guys got on stage. Like, I, I, did you? Yes. Did you happen to know? I fucking like I when I went up, I thought I was like, this is a problem. I had to shut it down. I was going to weep. Mm -hmm. That something about going up there. And everybody, like, in a line, like, you guys got up on stage, and I was just like, fuck. I was like, I had to make a decision in my head. I was like, you were either going to weep in front of a bunch of people about your own sitcom, <laughs> which is, as your generation calls it, a bad look. Uh, or you're going to fucking robot, and, like, I made the right you did decision. Really well. yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, you did Anyway, well. so, uh, yeah, uh, it, it, it was emotional. It was It was emotional. emotional. And um, so, since I've been here, so, okay, so I got here on the 9th of August, and on the 12th of August, there was my first Harmontown show. And I've been coming every week, and it's been, like, the best transitional thing for me, because, I mean, I don't know, like, this is the first time I've ever been here, and I do, I, I'm really bad at making friends. But like Harmontown is the only like escape I have every week, and it's just it's amazing because I've been listening to the podcast. Like I remember being at home back in Pakistan and just like listening to the podcast and like laughing to myself, and, and just the fact that I can be here live is just it's insane. And it's kind of a mind blower to me. Like I I have no image in my head of Pakistan. Like we we obviously that's where that's where Kumail is from, yeah. and like I don't. <laughs> Talk about bad at making friends. Like, I never asked him, what's it like there? Uh, I, I have no image in my head, you know? Like, I don't know, like, where, how, how what was it, what, what was it? You, you're, you were just a little baby if you started listening to this show back when it, we were I, doing I started it. listening in 2013. I was just starting my undergrad. So, yeah, I wasn't a baby. I was pretty old. What is it? You, you li li living with your parents in Pakistan? It's yeah. like a house, an apartment? A... It's a, so... Um, we have a really large farmhouse, um, so it's just, it's pretty cool, but it's very, like, rural, like, there's lots of donkeys. <laughs> Did you have, like, dogs? <laughs> yeah, I have one dog. And was it sh long or short hair? What? Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> what the I heck? Just, no, I just wonder, was it long or short Brandon's hair? Brandon's doing his cold reading technique. It's a, it's a, he's a, he's, he's a, about to tell you the ghost of your father wants you to... <laughs> 
he buried your money in Arkansas. Uh, my dog is a German Shepherd. And oh, so you had, to, you had to cut its hair? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bray, what is going on? What is happening? What is, what is the... <laughs> Do you German Shepherds have figure out if, I'm just trying to figure out if she had a dog and they had to cut the hair, that's all. Why? <laughs> what? Do you say that like that's an innocent that's an answer. thing to want? You know, I that's can't a tell w- you the secrets of comp trolling, but I get people to talk. Do you want to know about Victor's dog's hair length? Sure. Vincent. Did you have a dog okay. when you were a kid, Victor? Vincent. 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 I'm just listening. Okay. Vincent. I would Did not- you have a dog? <laughs> yeah. How long was its hair? <laughs> yeah. Who Did was involved it? in its upkeep? Did you cut it? I, Did I your dog a, have a barber? I had a cat. A cat? Hell yeah. yeah. How oh, long were its ears? <laughs> so many <Woo>. cat people. <laughs> Did, you, uh, Did you cut your cat's hair? Yeah, was it a short hair? Or a long hair? Hairless? No, medium. Medium hair. So did you... Okay. Did you, did you brush it? That response, no. by the way, people are going to listen to this podcast 10 years from now, they're going to think cats <laughs> were going extinct. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh my God! <laughs> It's like Bojack Horseman. Like, like, it's like, whoa, oh, oh, cats. <laughs> All right. Anyways, that is We're like good. Bojack. I know. Horseman. I know who we are now. I know whatever. I know what's going on now. All right. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, what brings you here from Germany, Vincent? Uh, this show. Oh, this is the only thing. How long are you out here for? A lot. Oh, wow. Two days. Okay, so oh, wow. you're about to go back. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Did you morning. really just come on a Shit. pilgrimage here for this show? Yeah, I mean, I made some stops. I was in Berlin previously, and now, I mean, Berlin's in Germany, obviously. Right. <laughs> it's yeah, not, that's not where I live. Have you been listening to this show for how long? Are you long? caught up? Yeah, I think I started at about ep- episode 100, 100, and then I made my way down and up, and now I'm here. Hell yeah. Oh. <sighs> What's a, here's the thing about ending this show, all right? I, what? Uh, what? Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> He's not on the emails. I went to the vet once. I had a cat that was like Woo! sick. How long? Yeah. Well, now you guys are over cats. I remember the vet. Like, now they don't even care about cats. Saying to me, the vet was like, as if, I, I think the vet was like, he must have like had this conversation with so many people because I really didn't cue him to do this speech. <laughs> but he, it seemed like he's just like, so he so wanted people to understand this that I almost thought he was like a cat murderer. Um, <laughs> but he was like, you know, uh, if your cat's sick, it's not human. So it's not going to let you know. It's not going to be like, oh, I'm sick. You know? And then uh, you take the cat home and it's like curled up in its favorite sun ray. What? And it's like, it's like wagging its tail. No, this guy didn't know anything about cats. <laughs> no, but he was like, he was like, your cat acts like your cat, and then it's like you don't want to put it down. But he was like, th- this was a guy who was like pro putting my cat down. He was like, he was letting me know. It's like, yeah, here's the thing. Once uh, you decide to put your cat down, your cat's gonna start acting like a normal cat. Yeah. You still gotta put it down. <laughs> Why did I bring that story up? You were talking about the show ending. I know. That, that's a horrible, but that's not going to make anyone happy. Like, what do you, we're, we're a sick Yeah, the cat. show feels healthy. Yeah. That, that, but you got to put it down. Like, like co- 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 Cody, Cody's dog, Barbara, is like riddled with cancer, and it has been for a while. And it's like, we're saying goodbye to Barbara, and like, she's going to die. Like, it, it and it's like, but she's like wagging her tail, and she's like running all over the place. And like, it's like, Fuck, man. It's like knowing that she's going to die is like making her seem even healthier than if we didn't know that. What is my fucking Yeah, that's point? such a weird thing, that's though. That's the podcast. Because there's always, like you were saying, like the doctors or whatever, they're always like, oh, man, it's okay. You know, it's, it's, worse, it's torture to leave them alive. And it's like, well, it would be great to actually ask the pet, like, oh, would you like to be ceased right now? Or do you want to keep <laughs> feeling pain for another terrible couple of weeks? Because... 
like you it's all just trying to assuage the guilt but it's like no you are ending their life and that's crazy if you think about it you know but you we, we had talked about this and you had said something that really stuck with me which is oh, that shit. we as like <laughs> eugenicists who have been mastering the dog race forever like we it's like there's not a dog alive that we haven't tampered with genetically and like I'm a big scholar of eugenicists the the dogs that we have created there's no biological profit in them registering pain or expressing it like dogs that said ow gone like they, yeah. they're not in the gene pool right dogs that when their leg is broken are like can i have a cookie <laughs> Those are all of the progenitors of our species. Anyways, what's it like in Pakistan? I don't know. Like, does it bug you when people, when guys, like, when I go, Pakistan? Like, I, I don't want to take the leap and go start going Pakistan. No, no, no. It sounds weirder when you say Pakistan. Okay, thank you. Yeah. God damn it. Can I, can you give me a card that says, like, <laughs> because I just feel like a bag of dicks. I'm like, like, yeah, I know it's Pakistan at this point, but I'm like, Pakistan. <laughs> No, it's not your fault. All right, thank you. Oh, it's like when you talk to someone from Nicaragua. 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 <laughs> 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 so many hard R's in there. Yeah. <laughs> Nicaragua. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so what, 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 let's squash this beef between Germany and Pakistan. <laughs> Play some soccer, you guys. What do you do in uh, Germany? Are you studying as well? Yeah, I, st <clears throat> I studied journalism. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Wow. That's what I was going to bring up when she was talking about architecture. I majored in journalism, and I, like, very quickly, like, my first year of journalism, I was like, oh, journalism sucks. Yeah, it does. And I, but I didn't, I didn't have a fallback, so I dropped out of college. Mm, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to, though. You're no, going to be a no, great I'm, German I'm, journalist. I'm going to finish it. And, but, I mean, yeah, it sucks right now. Everybody keeps, just keeps telling me, oh, you're not going to get any money. You're not yeah. going to get a job. No, you could be like, you could work for BuzzFeed. Yeah, right. <laughs> we have that in Germany. <laughs> is your media like ours? Do you guys have a... No. Is it sensationalized? It's as not well? as extreme. I mean, it is obviously emotionalized, but mm -hmm. it's not, I mean... You guys, everyone makes fun of Fox News, but even if I look at MSNBC, I think, or CNN, it's like, it's still extreme. Yeah. That's what's so crazy. People are like, Fox News is bad, and then the Fox News watchers are like, no, you don't understand. CNN is the fake news. It's like, no, it's all a fucking nightmare yeah. hellscape. <laughs> yeah. Anywhere else in the world, it's like, oh, there's news, actually? There's real news? It's bad. Is We're, there real news? Is there like yeah, BBC's better? Yeah, but it's so boring. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's the, that's the secret. It said it like a supervillain. They're so they're so busy pronouncing Nicaragua right. The, they Why do people even, not yeah. die? I mean, where's the fucking hits? Uh, what's going on over there, Nazi wise? Come on, be real. Yeah, I mean, it's coming back, right? You it's have like cities. It Dresden is fucking overrun. Yeah, it's fucked up. They man. declared a national emergency we, or a we, city we, emergency. Mm, they're like, we got skinheads, folks. Yeah, I think that, <laughs> that, that was another city. But we just had an election, and they were a uh, second largest force. Yeah. 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 I mean, we're toast then, right? If we can't count on you guys <laughs> to be Nazi-phobic, yeah. we're <laughs> fucked. Right? I mean, I mean, it's all of Europe and America. It's the whole West. Why do we you have... think, as a journalist, yeah, our... wh wh why do you think, as a planet... I have my theory. Why do you think as a planet, it's just like almost unrelatedly, it just seems like all of these nations are just sliding right. Mm -hmm. Do you have a theory about that? or I, I probably You wouldn't be a good journalist one. if you were like, eh, it's because of Christmas. But I can't think of one right <laughs> now. I think what? it's because of the fucking internet. I mean, that's it. Right. I think the internet I mean, is simulating. That's what certainly part of it. Like I think people, people, people are who are just in their little bubble, or maybe just one guy in a village. Now he is connected to another guy in another people, village. People historically, people when they like nations when they go multicultural, when their economy is destabilized, like there, there's certain like cues that people start sliding right because they have an authoritarianistic instinct mm. when they start to get threatened. Mm. They start to have that xenophobic fear. Yeah, like the... Uh, you weren't finished? But no, no. I, 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 well, I was comma, <laughs> semicolon, whatever. And I, I, my, the rest of my thought would be the internet has made everyone feel like that's happening, but it's not happening. Because yeah. people are like, oh my God, I didn't know how many Muslims there are. It's like, there aren't any Muslims where you are. Mm. Like, like, you just got on Facebook for the first time. Calm down. Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, 
every time the uh, parts uh, of the countries where these parties are active, where those numbers are the most extreme, there's like none of the problems that they're running on. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's well, crazy. In, in all the cities where people are stacked up on top of each other, you can't stay racist and live <laughs> in New York. Uh, it's not really that possible. Yeah. I mean, okay, it is. <laughs> Some people rise there to that challenge, so you but you get I just think you it can't hard. really, you can't like hold on to these fucking crazy theories yeah. and be stacked on top of each other in these giant cities where people are functioning and like generating all of the shit that keeps the lights on for the rest of the country. And it's like this, this age old irony that then you go out to the sticks, sorry, mm -hmm. no offense, what the fuck ever, but it's like, <laughs> where there's like three people per square mile and those people are like absolutely the most convinced that the world is ending and that race mixing is gonna make everything. It's like, they're, and they're like, dude, you, your grandpa's birthday is the last time you saw anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the New York, fine. I think in New York and stuff, it's like, it's the same kind of thing, but it's just like those, the, the internet kind of lets you hold on to these crazy theories without being challenged in the same way that, you know, your your face isn't rubbed into it. Like, and that's what we didn't anticipate is that we don't want to evolve. And I'll, and we should all cop to that. I will. Like we don't I don't want to be wrong. Like I, 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 I got a I got a world of knowledge at my fingertips, but as I've said on this podcast before, like I'll sit in a bar and go like Hudson Hawk, that was 1993. No, no, I'll bet you $50. No one gets their phone out because no one wants to actually know anything. <laughs> like, we do not actually want to use the internet to become like cyber Christ. We don't, we don't want to like learn and evolve. Or stub norts. We could easily just know everything. Did we you don't say want stub to. I did say stub oh, norts. Wait, what That's a reference to this podcast. Yeah. Stub, stub notes? There is an episode called Cyber Christ and Stub Norts. And <laughs> oh, I want to say yeah. Matt Gorley was involved. <sighs> All right, kids, what are you plugging? <laughs> you got a book coming out about architecture. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it worth your while. I don't. I, I, I'm babbling and like, oh god, we, we're wait, wait, we're we're we're, yeah. we're almost there. Yeah, it's we're almost there. It's, it's already worth my while. I'm I'm good. I'm so I'm so <laughs> flattered. Thank you for expressing that. You too. Like uh, it's 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 that's why I brought up the dying dog thing. Mm. It, <laughs> it was it it, it, it it wasn't to discourage the everyone. The show can't tell us it's hurting. It was like. <laughs> It's like, yeah, okay, the show, of course, like, god damn, could the show just be ending forever? Well, we'll launch another podcast called Harmontown's Ending, and then we'll just do that forever, and like, uh, well, and then everyone will be on their best behavior. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to say my accent sounds really German now that I hear it. Oh. It's cool, though. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. You never heard your... You I, never... I, I... I'm so glad you said that because like, I was thinking that <laughs> the whole time. Does he know? <laughs> You're like, oh my God, I sound like Dieter. <laughs> will you please say, will you please say, there are no more fucking Krugerons, Mr. Johnson? Kruger what? Krugerons. Krugerons. It's a golden coin. There's, there's no more fucking Krugerons, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you It'll talking work. about? It'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now Brandon just, is rock you, hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see. He's rock hard. He's throbbing. Can you fully can you, torqued? Can, as long as we're doing requests, can you <laughs> can you can you give me an evil laugh and then say <laughs> diplomatic immunity? Uh, okay, I can. <laughs> Not evil. There's the evil laugh. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity. Oh. <laughs> you son of a bitch! You think you can hide behind that shield, but I'm Mel Gibson. I'm gonna get you. Right, those guys, those bad guys were South African. Yeah. How do you feel about South Africa as a German? Are you proud of it? No, it's it's good. Yeah. It's Dutch. <laughs> it's Dutch. Those are the Dutch. No, the the Germans were there. Well. Were they there first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look no, at you no, bragging on oppression and shit. <laughs> uh, no, no, we got there first. <laughs> It's does, good, does, Brandon. Does, does, it's good. Does Pakistan have any <laughs> imperial territories? Is Pakistan like, oh yeah, we ran Portugal for a while? There's no, no we we were there, run by the British, yeah. like imperial uh, colonialism. Sorry. Did, yeah. wait, 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 did, did, so did Pakistan have to like fight for its independence? Oh, it was part of India, and then when the British left, they were like, "Fuck you guys! What do you want?" <laughs> and then 
Pakistan was like, oh, we want to be separate. And then it was just like, fine, whatever. Okay. That's kind of what happened here, except there were muskets. Except for the nuke issue. Yeah. <laughs> you guys kind of will nuke each other, right? India and Pakistan. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pakistan. Well, yeah, forever. Like, yeah, you, you guys are a nuclear power. Yeah. I, I say you guys. Like, yeah, no, you, you, fair. you. Yeah. Like, but, like, Pakistan's been a nuclear power forever, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, they That's got that hard power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pele. Nice. Yes. Yeah. But it's never been a crisis. That what, what, When did Pakistan become a nuclear power? When was it? 70s? 80s? Um, I think 70s. And, like, why wasn't that a crisis? Was that... Because uh, we were on good terms with them. So was that America? Did America go, like, yeah, you guys should have nuclear bombs? Like, we, that's not like us at all. <laughs> Typically, when you colonize a place, you invite people to come back. They learn the same things that they're taught. So you have a bunch of uh, new engineers. Then why doesn't Alaska have the nukes, man? <laughs> God damn it. Check and <laughs> It just it doesn't. It, it seems like such a weird outlier. As I remember, like during the Iraq War, the first one, mm -hmm. it was like pa Pakistan was like this like wild card. It was like, oh, are they going to get involved? Mm -hmm, like they're mm -hmm. like U.S. allies, and like we don't. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, whatever, man. So yeah. fucking drunk. <laughs> like, <laughs> so fun. I've been drinking for like since Thursday. <laughs> I thank really you two so much for uh, stepping up yeah, on stage. Yeah, thank you guys. Have thanks you so back flattering down. that you came here on a pilgrimage. Thank you. Awesome. All, All right. the way from well, Germany. <laughs> it was my, I'm sorry, Maria, Myra. Myra. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And Vincent. Myra and God Vincent. God bless you. So Unless wonderful. you don't believe in God, in which case, chaos, magic, bless you. <laughs> it's all the same thing. Do you, it? tomorrow, will you feel any of uh, today? No, I, I mean, is the reason I'm so drunk right now is because of how drunk we got at the premiere. Yeah. So I woke up this morning. Are you crying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does it look like I'm crying? You love Pakistan. I miss, I miss them. You want, you want their <laughs> nuclear weapons to work, don't you? I I have since you're the such 70s. a softy. Soft, I, I, soft I, power. I just, I, I don't like not, I, I liked not being threatened by the guests up here. <laughs> You like both of them. They're a good I kids. like them. I thought they were very sweet. And I went to USC, so, like, you know, Aww. fight on. Yeah. It's sweet to think that there's a generation of kids who listen to me to ramble on and on. That's and nice. just been ruined. I love it. I, uh, but I also, don't you think it's kind of a cheat? She goes to school 20 minutes from here. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> I don't want to say anything because, you know, but... That's yeah, the that's farthest. true. That's bullshit. You could no. walk here. You're saying no. you're saying she Germany, like, Germany. She didn't come here from Pakistan. Yeah, Stop she, it. No. <laughs> she kind of played the nationality card. My friend is here from Australia right now. <laughs> Fuck your friend. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, but we don't care. Let's do a rap. All right. <laughs> Australia. But, well, I was gonna answer your question. The oh. answer to your question is no, it was the it was the hair of the dog thing. I was a bag oh. of dicks this morning and I was like, there's only one way through this. Excellent. I gotta get drunk. So, there you go. So for the kids. So will I? For the kids. Will keep I drinking. feel it tomorrow? No, I won't. I'll you like, will not. I don't know. I if don't you care. do, do you have a cure? Do you have like a hangover remedy? Any of that shit? Or no. is it this guy all? says. Sometimes I would used to put a packet of salt in a glass of water and give it to him, or give him a Gatorade or whatever. Bacon, oh, bacon sandwiches. Oh yeah, anything fatty, <sighs> salty. Yeah, you want all that stuff. All yeah. right, sourdough breakfast jack. All right, start this. Uh, uh, this show's been brought to you by... I'm too drunk to rap. Give me a beat. Blue Apron. Kettle, or kettlebell. Kettlebell Kitchen. Kettlebell Kitchen, yo. Yeah. Yo. I remember the time. Kettlebell. That, the Kettlebell Kitchen showed up at my house. Yo. Put it in a bag. Deliver it without lag. Bring me some drumsticks and flour. Give me that home cooking power. I don't want to go to the grocery store, but I also don't want to go outdoors to a restaurant. I want you to deliver me ingredients. That's what I want. Split the difference between autonomy and dependency. Bring me a box of pieces of food. I'll put them together when I'm in the mood. I'll impress my date. Hey, what do you want? Broccolini? Okay, don't hate. Here we go. I'll put it in a bag. Shake it up and put it on the plate. You fucking hag. A little bit of energy. 
energy. Little energy. What? Oh, so, oh, little sorry, energy. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Why am I? Why am I being energy. mean to my date too? Bring it up. Vegetarian, protein style paleo. You'll be swearing they have good stuff for you. Get to this food. I know I do. I had the salmon cakes. They had collard greens. Oh boy, it was fine. That's fine. That's Harvard Town, right. ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, sorry, Thank you so sorry. much. We love you, Downtown Dynasty. We love you, Nolan Fabrica, Zach McKeever. Was it Myra or Myla? It's Myra. Myra. We got it. Either way, we got it. Pele, thank you so much. Nick, rub the front. God damn it. Make some noise. We love him. The most real guest we've ever had, Nick Rutherford. Real guest style. It's too late. It's too late. Thank late you, that. kids. We'll see you next week. Cheer yourselves up. Good night. Get any of that? It's a good show!